So here I am working inside my horribly manipulated file, which I've gone ahead and called what was I thinking .psd. And if you're just opening this image, then I encourage you to double click on the adjustment layer thumbnail. And that brings up my adjustments panel, which I've put back inside the stack. Notice that I'm currently seeing master, which doesn't include any of its own settings. So in other words, I'm not seeing the settings that I've applied to the blues inside the image, and I won't until I switch over to the blues like so. And then I see all my settings revealed before me. Now, let's say I'm starting to think better of whether I really want to adjust these blue slats inside the umbrella, especially if I want to make them hot pink like this. So I'm thinking I'd like to reset the original image. Well, notice this arrow icon right down there. Not only does the tip say reset to adjustment defaults, but also the arrow goes all the way around. And that becomes important if you then decide to layer on another edit. Like, for example, let's say you think, I want to change the color of her face. The problem isn't the pink of the umbrella, it's that her face isn't blue enough. So I'm going to switch to the nearest group of colors, which is reds. But I'm here to tell you folks, and this is very important that you understand this, when you're editing portraits inside of Photoshop, we are all orange. We're not black, we're not white, we are all orange people. So we fall somewhere between the reds and the yellows. Sometimes you have to modify both, and that's what we're going to end up doing. So I'm going to start with reds as a as a jumping off point. I'll go ahead and choose the reds and then I will drag the hue value all the way up to plus 180. And notice that does hit her face, turn her green. I want her to be blue. And the problem is that I'm not getting the yellows inside of her face. So I'm going to take this light gray area on the right side and drag it farther over to the right. And you can see that now I have indeed successfully turned her into an Oompa Loompa, which is perfect. But now, hmm, I think better of it. I'd like to go ahead and undo all the modifications that I've applied here inside the adjustments panel, which would be a little bit of a pain in the neck because you'd have to reset the hue value for your reds and then go back to your blues and change them as well. Or you can just drop down to this icon. Notice it now has a tip that says reset to previous state, cancel the current changes, and the arrow only goes halfway around. So if I click on it, I'm going to de oompa loompa but I'm still going to have these hot pinks inside of the umbrella. I have to click a second time on the now full arrow icon to reset to the adjustment defaults, which are nothing in the case of hue saturation. All right, so we've gotten back to our unmanipulated image. We have a sweater adjustment layer. Let's use it to adjust the sweater by using this tool right here. This is the only tool inside of Photoshop that doesn't live inside of the toolbox. It lives here instead. And watch what happens to the selected tool. Currently over here in the toolbox, the rectangular marquee tool is selected. If I click on this tool, which I call the target adjustment tool because that's what it's called inside Lightroom, then that tool becomes selected and none of the tools in the toolbox is any longer selected. Isn't that interesting? Anyway, what this tool allows me to do is drag directly on a group of colors and change either the saturation of those colors or the hue. If I just start dragging and notice something about this tool, it has a finger with arrows going left and right. And that's telling you that is the direction that you need to drag. So if I want to change the colors that are associated with the sweater, let's say, and I drag to the right, I will increase the saturation of those colors. If I drag to the left, I will decrease the saturation. And notice not only am I changing the saturation value, which is now in my case negative 69, but Photoshop has automatically isolated a range of colors and decided that the colors that I want to change are the yellows. Now then, if you want to change the hues instead of the saturation values, you press the control key or the command key on the Mac and drag. And you drag to the right to increase the hue value and you drag to the left to decrease the hue value. And that is how you use that awesome target adjustment tool. The problem is we haven't done a very good job of modifying the sweater independently of the rest of the image. And that is something we are going to do very effectively in the next exercise.